This tutorial video is to help you understand better how you can use the Marqua pack to edit your images in Capture One. I specifically made these for wedding photographers. So for all those who've been asking me about how or when I was going to produce wedding presets or wedding styles for Capture One, these are for you guys. So just watch and learn how I use them. Right, immediately you buy the presets or the style from my website. You're going to get a zip file. When you unzip it, these are what you see in there. Five cool styles and one readme. Within the readme, this is what you have. CTD Marco Capture One styles and presets. This is what I want you to pay attention to. While you can definitely use these as filters, you need to do some work to maximize them. We shall apply the knowledge of tones and colors here. Tones with respect to whites, blacks, highlights, shadows, and mid-tones. And colors. Colors, you already know. I spoke a lot about them in any of my Capture One videos. So that's generally the idea of whatever, whatever it is you're about to do. So they are not a one-time fix solution. You would have to make some adjustments and fine-tune them just to make sure they work better for the kind of images you'll be editing. So be mindful of the white balance as it can drastically affect the image. You're going to see that increase or decrease the saturation based on your preference i'm going to show you two ways to do that and the colors are optimized to cover most shooting and lighting conditions so it's not a one click solution like i said earlier but you can fine tune them to make sure they work for you it's it's supposed to act as a base for you to be able to you know elevate your work some might be a one click solution some might not be so let's see the difference how to install open capture one that's how i do it i come into styles hit on the three dots import go straight to where they are on my laptop select all of them hit open and it opens up as opens up under marqua or i mean under the custom styles and marqua if you've ever seen me talk about capture one styles because i have already made it I think I have created one styles that's working for outdoor and even studio images. I always talk about how you can stack them up. So in today's video, I'm not going to do stacking up. I'm just going to show you some examples on how stacking them up will actually work for the kind of images you want to create. So this I shot, I think last year, I'm going to run through them quickly just so that I don't pile up on the minutes. I want this to be a quick tutorial on how you can go about using them. So I have TJD Cream, TJD Feel, TJD Ghost, TJD Mood, and TJD Standard. Please don't come at me for the name. It's very difficult finding names for presets. If you have a better way of naming presets, let me know down in the comment section below. So I'm going to leave the link to this particular co-styles or presets or however it is you want to call them in the description box below hit it go purchase it on my website support a brother thank you so much for all the support you've been giving me this is also here for you guys so your support will be needed and let's get it right looking at this particular image i mean i created them so i know how to use them or what to use for each and every image right so i'm going to go straight to tjd mood and immediately as you can see there's some loss of color some also there's been a reduction in the highlights i mean it mutes quite a number of things right so i'm going to click on this for my base right and also stack it up again so apply to new layer and that's what it does if i come to adjust and i come to the background i'm going to increase the saturation a little bit and i have two of the tjd mode right this is the background has the base one right before and after and the mood has the second layer has whatever it is i want to apply on this particular image i make sure not to touch any of the exposure high high dynamic range in the levels just so that you can have more versatility when you're editing but some of the image some of the styles have them being touched but some are open and easy just so that you can adjust them yourself for a better feeling to your images right so let's add some life to this a little bit of contrast and reduce the highlights a little bit yeah and there we have it this is before and after before and after what you're looking at is making sure your images look 
or have that brown tones to the image and that's what we've done over here so this is a quick example of stacking up and i'm not going to do it again in this next image i'm going to use tjd fields for the reason being it removes quite a number of yellows from my images and it adds contrast to the image i'm going to use them in other images so you see the contrast i'm talking about so yeah this is what we have i'm going to push in some white and a little bit of blacks into this right and open up my shadows a little bit and there i have it open some brightness you know fix the rotation make sure the composition is okay and send this back a little bit and there i have it this is the before and after before and after you can use it right let's copy this and use it here also and there we have it very beautiful but i think i'm going to open the blacks a little bit and the whites are blown out not what we're looking for right so either this or let's reset and go to tjd standard let's see ghost is a form of black and white that i have appreciated over time soft looking black and white not too contrasty and not too soft as it falls in between all right so if i hit on ghost and i want to make any other adjustments i'll come into color make sure i am within my blacks and whites then i can adjust to fit how i want things looking so i can blow it out this way i can reduce reduce it this way dependent on what i am looking out for All right so i'm going to keep it on ghost looking at this image i mean i created or created this particular styles around this particular image so i'm going to hit on tjd standard what i want you to pay attention to is when we were reading the read me we did mention be mindful of the white balance so with this if i want to adjust the white balance by increasing it i'm going to have a different feel to the colors in the surrounding right so this is how that is looking what you can do next is to you know play around with the skin tone either making it look more yellowish or making it look more reddish dependent on the kind of skin tone you have in there do you get it so the uniformity can come in reduce the saturation then you can play with the hue and the lightness it's all dependent on exactly what you're looking out for but i'm going to keep this back at 5000 just like i have some separation not all warmth all right i have some green some yellows you know that standard feel i have in my image i'm going to skip this particular image because obviously the same thing let's jump into an indoor solution uh sorry indoor image take notice of the variation of images i am running you through i have indoor i have outdoor different lighting conditions this was i think overcast this was light peeping through um, a window i mean yeah so i'm going to use tjd mood for this or will fuse work all right so i'm going to hit on fuse for now and what i will do is come into my highlight and reduce the highlight a tad bit open up my shadows and there we have it let me bring in some white just to not eliminate that come into my colors do i have to do anything within the colors let's increase the tint just to make it a little bit more reddish and take it away from the greens i mean we can do more with the color balance right if we want to take it away from the greens we move it from the sand towards the blue and there we have it so let me do a split view slider this is the before and that is the after this is the before and that is the after i like how the shadow is treated the highlights are also treated the skin tone remains intact something i always look out for if you're ever a fan of my presets you know i'm always cautioning people on skin tone so let's see cream 
very beautiful if that's what i'm going in for feels ghost mood i'm going to hit mood and what i will do next is push in some white over here a little bit of color reduce my highlights bring in some blacks like i said i didn't do anything to the adjustment come into my color tab and let's see what we can do let's bring some color back to the skin and make sure it looks let's crop it to fit right orange and teal and there we have it so with this image i'm going to hit on standard because standard works that's all i have to say i like what it does to the skies right it teals up the skies it warms up the greens and it changes i mean it, it dials down certain annoying colors like this orange on the wall it makes it more brownish than orange as you can see in this reception shot i'm going to use cream i created this for reception images if i quickly do a before and after you can see before you had some magenta lights all over and what the cream does is converts that into teal and you have orange in the highlight and teal in the shadows right as you can see over here so if you come into that just we can do further adjustments add some blacks just so that we can have the punchiness bring back the highlights increase it and one thing also is if you don't want too much creaminess or yellow yellow is what we term creaminess you can bring the blues back within the highlights using the curve over here so more creaminess less creaminess that's also there also you can jump into the color tab within the color balance then you play with it mostly the creaminess is in your highlights and midtones so if any of them are going to be a problem you just adjust them as you see fit so yeah this is the before and that's the after i, mean, I encourage anyone to use this for their reception shots let's see will this work for this there you have it let me hit this coming to adjust you know going to my levels pushing some blacks add some white and voila let's go into the color coming to color editor sorry color balance move it from this to that just so i can have some blues in the white and if i feel like i want more control i can hit on this see where the colors are All right we have it just on the outfit then i'm going to reduce the saturation then i have this looking like this so before and after before and after very beautiful very beautiful with this i'm going to go straight to ghosts and to fix the vignetting around the edges i'll hit into shape and open the light fall off and that's it smooth easy soft good to go with this i'm going to hit on tjd standard because of what it does to my greens and i'll just move forward from that with this we have cream some of the images are rep repetitive images from when i was creating my tjd wedding grade 4 lightroom so and majority of them were not shot by me so you're running i'm running you through all the different scenarios you can get with regards to lighting different come this was shot on a 6d yes let's check let's be let's be sure so it's a canon eos 60 as you can see this was on a canon 5d mark 4 this was also on a canon 5d mark 4 
So with this, I'm going to hit on mood. I like my brown tones. They eliminate the yellows and the whites. So it gives it sort of a white look to it. Beautiful. I love it. Mood. Let's see what the mood does. Yeah, softens it up. That brown tones. I love it. With this, what I will do is to hit on cream. I'm going to create on the new applied layer, right? Then I'll reduce the opacity of it. And there we have the before and after. Before and after. It's a subtle addition of the cream look to this. Let's copy that and apply it on this particular one. I remember when I was selling my presets and a photographer friend of mine mentioned that most of the presets that are being sold usually makes a lot of adjustment to let's say the outfits the couples are wearing and in Ghana this is called a kente so mostly some of the presets change the color of the outfit so with these co-styles my main aim was to minimally change those colors but then add some feel to the images just so that they look color graded as usual so that was that was the direction or that was the motivation for some of the images or the color grade sorry so this is before and that's after before and after i'm going to crop this and i have this very beautiful i can go in more by adding radial filter but yeah i'm not doing all that you're just looking at the edits so style i we'll run through cream feels i love feels for this i'm just going to leave it as that feels also will work for this contrasty takes away the haze and this is an image shot with an USR. I remember. Yeah, Canon USR. So with this, I'm going to use cream. But immediately ahead on cream, you can see these colors messing around. What you do to fix that is first we'll, we'll tackle this, make the hue come back to zero, go into basic, come into this particular color double tap on this for this to go back and double tap on this for this to also go back and there we have the color we are looking out for so this is our before and after before and after and also if you feel like the blues are too much within your shadows so we've lifted the blacks so come into adjust go into our curve the output is at five as you can see so i'm going to lower this to three and we are good to go i'm going to use the same cream for this but i'm going to adjust it in a way that is going to make sure this looks better so head on cream right we all know our tones like i was saying so the highlights are where you find your whites the blacks are where you find most of your shadows your mid tones are where you find your skin tones so what i'm going to do right now it's coming to color going to advance you know what eliminate this hit on this and hit on the white i'm going to make sure i go away from the color on the skin right a little bit away from the outfit also then the next thing we do is to eliminate it right it's bothering us next thing i'll also do is to come into the color balance go into the highlights because i have pushed some greens in the highlights i'm going to move them all the way to the blue right as you can see so when they were in the highlight this is how the whites were looking when it comes here into the blue this is how they are looking i'm going to also make sure my white balance is towards the cool region and increase this just so i have that brownish tone in the image so this is 
before that and after that before and after very beautiful copy and paste very beautiful one click solution for this hit here tjd cream the cream works for any image shot in a warm environment well not a one click solution we would have to fix something so color let's eliminate this particular thing over here beautiful and there we have it so i'm going to copy this and a warm tone hit on this and there i have it you have that cool tone in the shadows and you have that warmth in the highlights giving you that complementary color look so cream feels i'm going to hit feels on this coming to this feels cream i can go with cream i can go with feels i can go with mood i like the mood Let's see before and after easy soft let's see mood on this too before and after before and after so i'm going to reduce the exposure on this just so we can have some details yes then i'll push in some white and maybe reduce the highlights before and after before and after someone might choose a different style i'm going to use this so with this i'm going to hit on cream right hit on cream then adjust the color at the back here so basic fix this fix that and in the advance delete this and that's all with this detail shots we're going to use fields for this you can see the contrastiness and all that beautiful we'll probably apply the same thing over here so before and after like i said any warm image you're looking at cream next warm image cream you will see exactly that blue in the shadow and the warmth or yellow in the highlights complementary colors so hit on cream again and what i would do here right is to come into my color tab i want i want the warm to be more so i'm going to increase the temperature right as you can see then i have my warmth becoming more reducing the tint also to have my my warmth looking more warm then i'm going to come into that just and you know fix the highlights bring the highlights back open the shadows a tad bit right you see where we're going with this come into my curves in the blues and i'm going to reduce the output of the blues so this is before and after before and after just take a look at that very beautiful we can use the same cream for this but i'm going to go with ghost i think i created a ghost using this particular image soft black and white and to our last image we're going to use mood sets the mood for us i mean there's also feels if this is the look you're going for there's also cream some adjustments would have to be made but mood seems okay and all i would do is come into my high dynamic range and increase the highlights to blow out the white behind it so yeah, these, these five co-styles and the marker change drastically all these images you can see here in Capture One. So I'm going to link it down in the description box below. For I think for the first week, 
there's going to be a discounted price and after the first week the price returns to its original price i'm going to leave the price here make sure you copy it support the brand thank you so much for supporting me on all the other products i've put out this is a new one this is for all those who've been asking me where then presets for capture one these ones are for you created perfectly for you fortunately they don't work on only wedding images they work on images i've also shot in the studio and i've shot outdoors i'm not going to go into that in today's video so maybe in other videos when i have the time or when i'm shooting my personal projects I'm, I'm probably going to incorporate it there so that you see how best you can even use it so what i realized about capture one is or capture one stars they are versatile all around they can work for indoor outdoor wedding not wedding i mean any other thing except maybe say food i don't know i don't know. i have not tried it yet so until i try it i'll let you guys know thank you so much for watching today's video subscribe like and share and you know let's make it happen purchase it enjoy it and maybe in the next video we'll talk about how to stack them up to create the look you want save them so that they become your look and yours alone thank you and i'll see you in my next video peace